to black, green smoke to black, green turn to black, yeah, that's what we stand for, green turn to black. Green... Hey everyone, Russian Nihilist here. And I'm that other guy who's his friend. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is Chris. You can find him in his old videos from like, I don't know, three years ago. I'm not actually in them. It's just my voice. It's just his voice. Um, channel's called Quantum Nihilism. Uh, that's probably not a thing anymore, but that's the channel name, which is fine. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on if you don't have God in your life, or if you don't have... Belief so, or faith in general. In if, if you don't have some sort of moral code you live by, or if you don't have something that you base your life on, then how do you, does one live their life? Uh, and I had to be asked this question for a psychology class not that long ago, so I have some time, I've had time to think about it. And, you know, if you're, a lot of people who are atheists, at least with atheism, I believe, as it goes, uh, they don't really question that. They don't look for those types of things in their life. They go by day-to-day -day activity, what's fun, what's interesting, what, what drives them to continue forward is not necessarily at all based off of faith or belief, though. No, okay, so, so, um... That's, that's the, what I've understood. Yeah. I'll give uh, a nihilistic you, perspective in a minute. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, so I do have a story to tell. Okay. Um, so, one of my ex-girlfriends, she's a Taoist, and she asked me once, why don't you just become Taoist? Because like, the, the entire belief is just what you believe. Mm. It's just all written down. And I, I was like, like, there's no actual difference, so why am I not just a Taoist? Um, it took a lot of thinking. Uh, but then I figured it out. The difference is that the Taoist holy book, or religious text, whatever, I forgot what it's called, mm. um, it has tenets. It has a dogma, and it actually tells you how to live your life. And even if I do agree with some of the things that it says, I'm in no way going to believe it. Because it, because it is not because of the tenets or the dogma that I believe it. It's because that's just what has been presented to me personally. And not all atheists are the same. You can be atheist for a lot of different reasons. The most intellectually honest one, though, is that there is no evidence for the existence of God. Uh, and I would like to start off by clarifying to people who have a misunderstanding of atheism that atheism is not, I believe there is no God. It's rather, I don't believe that there is a God. That you are taking the disposition until uh, the claim has been proven. Uh, and since every atheist does not have a uh, law that it does not have a moral law that is in text, uh, since it's not based on any tenets or dogma, uh, anybody a, can have any interpretation they want. Yeah, it should. It's very, in fact, patriotic if you think about it, because the whole basis of the United States is you know, thinking and feeling how you wish. has very little to do with belief or faith, which is why i am always been confused by the In God We Trust, which was added in 1957, I believe, yeah, so to the, in the bills. 1957, I, yeah. yeah. For bills. It's different for coins. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go to my perspective from nihilism. I understand what Lawrence is saying, but uh, for me, I have no beliefs or faith in anything. I s solely base all decisions I make off of logic. And if you're asking me, well, wasn't that mean you could just go kill everyone or be on a murderous rampage or rob everyone? And let's think about this logically for literally like 0.5 seconds. Okay? If I'm going to go rob a bank, what are the repercussions of my actions? There's a judicial system, there's law enforcement, and there's prisons. All those things don't sound like a high quality of life. And even from a nihilistic perspective, I have an urge to live just like everyone else, and I have an urge to live a quality and long, long and high quality life. Yeah. So that's where I come from, and you can continue if you want. Yeah. 
Um, that's the same perspective I have, that I make my moral codes from logic. Uh, and in a way, I think religion that gives you this moral code does not make you moral, because you don't actually make the decisions the book does for you. Yeah, and you morals, are... morals were religion originally based off of social logic, which is fine, because society doesn't like murderers and killers and thieves. Yeah, and, and and by that standard, if you qualify your decision not to do any of those things as morals, you're just using logic. Your morals are just logical decisions. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not something divine. It's not someone telling you you have to do these things. It's a societal perspective that most people should have, and that's why society as today goes. I ate my breakfast this morning and I didn't die. And thousands of people worked on the ingredients in my breakfast and the bowl I ate and everything. So you can't just state that it's, 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 it's a divine thing. You really have to go off of the logistic aspect. The way I live my life is I make all of my decisions based on logic because emotions tell me nothing about reality because there exists only one reality. People can have different perspectives of it, but there only exists one reality. And every person... You know, only if there, let me rephrase that. There's only one known perceivable reality. Just to throw that out there, uh, as from a quantum physics perspective, there could be multiple realities, but we're only seeing one result, and it's a shared perception, so you can't really um, analyze that with happiness or sadness. Those things don't really... No, they, yeah. Well, it's not that they don't matter. They, they don't have any effect on it. They don't have any greater or less effect, correct. Yeah. Um, I make all of my decisions based on logic. If I don't think something's logical, I will question it and ask someone to build a bridge for me. Uh, and the way I do things, because uh, every atheist is different, as I said. Um, some atheists may live it differently. Uh... But then someone may ask, well, you know, why, like, you're, you're a nihilist yeah. and I'm an atheist. Yeah. Uh, some people may say, well, they're two different things. They're um, sharing they're, subsequent parts, but one takes one to an extreme. Yeah, one, it, it's not that an atheist's position is do not care, it's because, let's, let's get this straight, atheism is just the rejection of a specific claim, the God claim, while a nihilist... Uh, is we don't believe in Jack. Yeah, there's there are no belief. But we we have to have everything proven to us, and yeah. it's a slightly and there, depressing there, there, belief. Yeah, there is a whole not care thing. Like I'm very nihilistic. Like not caring is one of the ways I became a happier person. Uh, I stopped giving a shit about the things that made me depressed, and they stopped depressing me, and I'm just a happier person. So to conclude. Atheism, nihilism, either one, completely up to personal perspective and how you live your life. It's not really a life-defining quality unless you make it a life-defining quality. Just like there are Christians out there who don't spend their day thumping a Bible, you know, and bring, and bring it to everyone's attention. There are people with humility and, and you know, it's, it's, not, it's not their full way of life. Just like it doesn't have to be for atheism or not. Alright. Uh, well, this is the Russian nihilist. This is quantum nihilism or whatever. You can Chris. Go. Yeah, you can call me Chris. SK, whatever. Um, that's his nickname, by the way. Man of many names. Man of many names, yeah. Alright. Uh, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Oh, enjoy the new studio. We're gonna get better from here. Oh, yeah. We, we have a new studio. We just built it in like, what, three hours? And $400. $400. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good time. See you guys.